Let's do a follow-up now. We were talking just a little while ago about what's going on with Bob Levinson. He's been in Iran for two years. Nobody knows where he is. One day he just suddenly disappeared. His wife, you just heard us do an interview with her moments ago. She says that she's desperate to get any information, but she has almost no information. In that interview, I mentioned to you that a U.S. senator has said that he thinks he's being held in a secret prison. The man who's on the record saying this is uh, Senator Bill Nelson from the Sunshine State, my home state. Uh, I've known the state. senator for a long time. Uh, Senator, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Rick. What, 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 what makes you think that he's in some kind of secret prison? Reasonable man test on all the evidence that we have thus far. Uh, about six weeks after Bob disappeared, the official press arm of the Iranian government issued a press release that said he was in their custody and they expected to release him within 30 days. Hmm. Uh, reasonable man test a guy that he met was subsequently arrested by the uh, Iranian government is now living in Iran and has said publicly that Bob is being held in Iran uh, so you put all of that together L let me ask you the question that I asked Christine when I was interviewing her about this because you know it, it's just obvious and I don't mean to you know be presumptuous here but Hell, you're a U.S. Senator. You could probably answer this. Was he working for the CIA? Was he working for the U.S. government? Was he doing something that would lead the Iranians to want to take him? He was a former FBI agent who had been retired from the FBI for nine years. He was working for a private company concerning cigarette smuggling, which is rampant in that part of the world. Now, uh, we think mm -hmm. that every time his name has been brought up with an Iranian official, they say, the standard line, we don't know anything about this, but then they change the subject and they talk about the Iranians that are held by the U.S. in herbal Iraq. Mm -hmm. So is there the suggestion of a swap? What is President Obama going to do? I mean, um, I'm sure you're, you're going to probably, when you get a chance, bend his ear if you haven't done so already. Well, uh, this guy needs to be returned if yes, they have him. Yes, and, and what I've said, and Secretary of State Clinton, Obama, and Biden have both been uh, uh, briefed on this. Secretary Clinton is working very hard on this. But what we're saying is that here is a wife and seven children. If you want a new chapter, between Iran and the U.S., what better gesture could Iran offer than a humanitarian one of returning this husband and father to his family? Well, you're doing a good job helping this family out with this situation. Uh, Senator Bill Nelson, my thanks, sir, for you taking time to take us through this. And, hey, we're going to keep tabs on this, so we'll check on you from time to time to see what's going on. And if anything, if anything else develops, would you let us know? Sure will, Ray. I, I appreciate it. Again, Senator Bill Nelson. When we come back, some of your comments.